Greetings! Welcome to the cheesiest video you'll see today, as I show you my favorite Sekiro boss cheeses. At number 10, we have Seven Ashina Spears Shume. There are several ways to beat this clown, but my favorite is also the smelliest. What we will do is puppeteer his minion, and then lure Shumi to the cliff edge. We now keep him distracted while our loyal puppet sneaks up on him and knocks him off. Epic cheese tastic action. Where does he rank on the cheese meter? Drum roll, if you please, Mr. Sekiro. And Shume is equal to a nice wedge of Canadian blue cheese. Simple and salty, but not to everyone's taste. Because you won't get the prayer bead from him this way, but who needs it? At number nine, we have Kyobu Oniwa. We'll let him cheese himself by climbing the tower close to the Ashina Castle Gate and making the impossible jump, or so I've heard, to the wall opposite. Now what we will do is climb the roof and run to the corner. In no time at all, he'll come galloping over and straight off the edge to his doom. Almost too gouda to be true. What cheese will that make Oniwa? I'd say a nice applewood smoked cheese, as it can be difficult to grate, just like making that jump from the tower to the wall. But when you do, you're left with a satisfying, creamy aftertaste. At number eight, we have the Sakura Bull of the Palace. This beast shares a lot in common with the Blazing Bull. They're both ugly, they're both fat, and they can both be killed very quickly and swiftly. To sneak upon the creature like so and startle him with the firecrackers. Now stand back and watch him KO himself. What an inept animal. And that equals him to some lovely Edam. Why? Maybe because I like my steak with it. Some might say this isn't a cheese, but I say it is, as he's cheese in under 10 seconds. If you can beat that, then be my guess. At number seven, we have Snake Eyes Shirafuji, a mummy with a gun. What shall we do with this mummification? Well, what we will do is lure her to the bottom of the ledge here, and then jump up. From here, the only attack that she can get you with is her gun. So we equip our loaded umbrella and let her shoot us, as we will turn her own weapon against her by throwing the energy from her bullets back at her. Thanks to the projected force skill. There is literally nothing she can do to stop us. We are invincible thanks to the umbrella. Ella, Ella. You can also ingest the Yashiriku's sugar to bring her death along quicker. I guess mummies don't like cheese, do they, Mr. Chainoga? That was some next level goat cheese. Especially if she looks like an old goat and smells like one too. At number six we have Dad, the great Shinobi Owl. Feared by many, but cheese by few. Here's how to cheese the old curd. As soon as the fight starts, back away against the wall next to the door and wait for him to come to you. When he moves in, you'll want to dodge and get behind him so he's now against the wall. Now you can start to strike, leaving him pinned next to the door. The key is not to lock onto him and to slash at an angle towards the door. Once his first phase is done, back away and move in again to start the same process for his next phase. You can even use a Yashiriku sugar and some divine confetti to get the job done quicker. What cheese has dad become? That'll make him a chunk of parmesan, as he's hard and gritty, but also fruity and nutty. And he must be a fruitcake to try and take over Sengoku Japan by himself. At number five, we have the illusionary version of the corrupted monk. An easy ghoul if you know how. First, what we will do 
is stay as close to the left hand side wall as possible and make our way to the door up ahead. When you see its health bar appear, that is when it's safe to move in. Use all of your firecrackers in quick succession behind her, so just pull back by them. Once you've run out of spirit emblems, then throw fistfuls of ash at her to pull her back even further to this bush. Then back away to the stone pillar and jump off it to make the death blow appear and she's finished. What cheese does she equate to? I'm going to go with a nice long semi-hard cheese such as provolone, as the corrupted ghoul is only semi-hard to best, even if you don't keep it. At number four we have the other seven Ashina Spears. We'll make Swiss work out of him. Sneak up on him and try to take away his first health bar. But before you do, ingest a red lump. This is for the morons that couldn't follow my boss guide on him and moan that they couldn't avoid his overhead twirl attack. Well now you've got no excuse, as the red lump will stop you from getting knocked out of the air so it's impossible to lose now. Simply jump on his head repeatedly and hit him twice on the way down. Cheesy as pie. Which cheese does Seven Ashina compare to? How about some baby bell? Because that's how easy it was, like taking cheese from a baby. At number three we have the Blazing Ball. Bromsoft tried to cheese the cheeses by patching the original cheese, but where there's a cheesy will, there's a cheesy way. You can still get onto the roof to skip this beast by following this path instead. This will surely drive Miyazaki crackers when he finds out we can still cheese him, so take advantage of it while you can, before they patch it again. For patch it they will. His Miyazaki frowns upon cheating his game. He wants you to struggle and rage, as my inept disciple did. Don't stand for it, and cheese. And what cheese can this cheeseness be related to? It has to be some Rockolo, because just like the jump to the roof, this cheese is complex and unusual. It's also left in a salt water bath. Something that Miyazaki's bath will be when he sees that you can't cheese a cheese. At number two we have the Demon of Hatred. Safe to say the most cheese boss in the game. This cheese is almost identical to the Gobu one with a slight difference. You have to pin the demon by the wall before you can jump up to the tower into the roof. To hang about by the trees near the cliff edge, glory him there so he pins himself. Then you go up to this tower at this exact specific key angle to get up here. And then jump to the roof, and watch what I do very carefully as I jump in mid-air almost. Cheating the game. It's the only way to get to the roof. You must copy me exactly. It takes skill and patience and key strength. And this cheese probably tastes the best of all. And that's why this is equal to classic mature cheddar, because it is one of the most popular cheeses in the world. Even the demon himself can respect this cheese, thanking you after killing him. No demon of suicide, thank you. And at number one we have this true corrupted monk cheese. Fromsoft patched the original cheese for this monster, so here is an even better one. Simply lure her to the trees by the cliff edge, and then jump off the cliff when she's close to you. When you respawn, the monk will be stuck at the cliff edge next to the tree. This leaves her open and pretty much defenseless, leaving you to take away her first health bar easily. But what about the other two health bars I hear you cry? Well that's what makes this cheese divine. Carry on hitting her after you took away the first health bar, and watch her disappear into thin air, and the cheese is yours. Send her back into the dimension of pure chaos. The place she deserves. Evil wench. Cruel crow. And cunning hag.
the true corrupted monk is the same as a slice of goo, yeah, as it's a good melting cheese. Just like how you'll give the monk a good melting by cheesing her this way. Subscribe for more Sekiro and check out my Sekiro lore video by clicking the link at the end of the video or in the description. You'll love it. Whilst in the sunken valley, he trained with another rogue shinobi called Kingfisher. The two shinobis eventually parted ways, with the sculptor leaving to fight the war for the Ashina clan. Kingfisher, however, had a darker fate. 